Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Made Homestead. Well today, I'm going to take you along. We're going to go into the hive and see how things are going on. Now, if you haven't seen our video on our start of our whole bee adventure, I'll be sure to link it at the end of this video for you and you can find it in the description box below. But we had a little trouble getting started and even now we've got a nuke. It looked really healthy, happy, everything was going well. Um, and then on one of our inspections, um, things were really building out. They had about seven frames were really rocking and doing really well. So I added a second deep on to give them more space to grow. And uh, then when I went back again to inspect, uh, the brood just was not as much as I would have liked to have seen. There was no activity in the top box at all. So I started feeding the beads. Um, you can see the little front feeder right here. Um, I've tried the insert inside the feeder and the bees, they still drown in it, even though we put little things, little styrofoam pieces in there for the bees to stand on. They still drown. I just, I didn't like it. So I tried the front feeder, which from what I understand, this time of year, it's okay to use the front feeder, but like in the fall, it really attracts robbers. So we are in just started summer, so I felt okay about it. And um, it helps the bees. They've got a lot to work to do, you know. And there was a queen cell uh, in there that was closed up, and there was also one that was uh, open. So like it was, I think, you know, like a practice sale or trying to figure it out. I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to learn, see what's going on. I want to take you along and see what we find today. Now, I do have some pollen um, that I had mixed into my sugar water mixture, which it was half and half, uh, half sugar, half water, uh, equal parts into the mason jar there. And then I added some um, pollen powder that I bought at Tractor Supply in there as well. Now, the first time I used my little jar, cause I had to put holes in the top, cause you want tiny, tiny holes. I tried to be really careful. It worked out great. It took several days for them to drink it all down. The next day, I don't know what happened. It just seemed, when I turned it over, it was kind of pouring out of there. But anyway, it lasted like a day. So the directions on the pollen powder says to sprinkle it on the top board. So today we're gonna try that. We're gonna see how the bees are doing and see if we can find the queen. The last two times, I have not been able to find a queen. I'm not at all sure there is a queen anymore. So maybe she had departed, I don't know. So we're gonna see what we can find, guys, and I'm gonna take you along, and we're gonna talk about what we see. All right, now first, I lit my smoker, but I hadn't been puffing on it because I was finishing getting set up and talking. There we go. I put a piece of canvas, or not canvas, uh, burlap in here because it helps make the uh, smoker last longer. But I didn't keep pumping it long enough to keep it going once I did. And I think it kind of suffocated it. So we're gonna get it kicked back off here. I need a little carrying case or a bucket. A bucket would be great. I need, the Lord knows I got plenty of those. Need to get a bucket and put all my tools in. So I'm out here trying to balance everything. Get out here to the hive. And my piece of uh, burlap there, I just cut a piece off. I got a big old long piece I actually used as a runner on my table at Thanksgiving on top of the tablecloth. And so anyway, I just cut off a slip and then I tied it up in a couple of knots so it doesn't burn up really fast. It has to work at it a little more. We've got some really good smoke going. All right. I didn't wear my hat today because it just makes me even hotter when I wear it. But it helps to keep my hair out of my eyes and the veil off my face in case a bee tries to come in here and uh, wants to land on my veil and sting me all right y'all now the first thing we're going to do we're going to make sure our smoker's going good here and you always want to move slowly no certain sudden motions try not to be too loud and we're going to smoke them right here in the front because these are the guard bees and we want them to know it's okay we're not here to hurt you but what it actually does it masks their pheromone and keeps them from sending out an alert 
that someone is messing with their hive and to bring the troops. <laughs> now, yeah, you do always, it's really easy to forget about your smoker because you get interested in what you're doing and plus when you're new, trying to remember everything. So you want to be sure and keep your smoker going. First thing we're gonna do is give a little squirt just to let them know we're here, kind of calm them down. We're coming in to take a, go come visit. Now I just set my uh, top on the side, upside down, so that way I can pull this bottom, this top brooder off and sit it down there instead of on the ground. Now we're gonna take a quick look just to see if anything's going on in here. I really, honestly, guys, I don't expect anything to be. Oh, this piece right here, y'all. This I found online when I ordered all my bee stuff. And it just adds a little extra ventilation. Um, here where we are in Central Florida, which everywhere in the country right now, we've had some serious heat going on. And that just adds a little ventilation for them so it's not so so hot and they always they recommend dappled sunlight but ours certain part of the day a hot part of the day it's in full sunlight so i like for them to have that now i'm looking down in there guys and there's literally nothing going on looks like they have added a little propolis and kind of pulled the boards together there, kind of sealed them together, the frames. But you can see there's, there's bees on it, but there's nothing going on. Now, all right. So we're gonna put the frames nice together really well. And we're gonna, let's see if this is stuck together. I bet it is. Oh yeah. They like to seal up all the cracks with propolis. So I'm just going to stick my hive tool in there. Kind of crack it open a little bit. Wow, that was quite the, was quite the seal right there. Just gonna stick them right down here okay now let's take a look here now right here this is our this is our hive beetle trap sometimes hive beetles can get under the edge there so I just run that see there's one right there and I killed it there we go and anytime you see hive beetles you need to be sure and kill them. See in there? You see ants. And that's just olive oil in there. And there's still plenty of room, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to clean it. But I'm going to sit it right down here for now. All right. So let's take a little gander here. We're going to try to get out. I read you need to spin. Try to get in and out as quick as you can. Hold the frames nice and firmly. We've got a little bit of calm on that side and a little bit of calm on this side. So they, they are working. Typically the queen is not on the outside edges like this, guys, but just be sure and give it a little look-see um, just to be sure. And I'm just going to prop that one right over there to give me room to work. Take my little hive tool and pull that apart. Now I gotta tell you, it took it was a lot harder to <laughs> uh, to crack the propolis between the boxes than I expected. All right. Okay. Guys, I am sorry about all my sniffling. I have allergies, and it doesn't matter 
what kind of allergy medicine I take, I still didn't have out. And smoke really sets me off. All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick here. There is capped honey. See that all the way across the top there? That's capped honey. And there's also, it looks like some bee bread in there. I'm just learning, but that's what it looks like to me. See the dark, don't want to drop it. The dark colors right down in here. If it's just a color and there's no shine to it, that is the uh, pollen. And if it's just a shiny liquid, then that is nectar. And that right there was a little, it was a, had color, it was, it was a both. And that's uh, from what I've read, I'm no pro, but from what I've read, that's how you can tell it's bee bread. We're going to look for the queen. We've got some more capped honey. Got a little bit of bee bread, a little bit of nectar. Look on the bottom, make sure the queen's not down there. I wish my cloud would come back. Now look right there, y'all. There is the queen cell that I was talking about. See how it looks like a little peanut? See how it looks like a little peanut? But see the opening? So there's no, no queen in there. Nope. Lots of pollen. Lots of bee bread. A little practice queen cell. I've got a dragonfly on my arms. Did y'all see that? It seems like every time I come outside, I have this green dragonfly that comes to visit me and hangs out with me. I would sure love to see a queen. There are a lot of bees down here. Guys, there is a queen cell right there that they were all over the top of. There's another one right there. That has something in it too. Both of those have something in it. So it looks like they are trying to raise a new queen. Turn it around real quick. I want to try to see in it with the sunlight shining in there. Okay, guys, real quick here. See this right here? I don't want to squish any bees. This right here, there's a queen cell there, and there is something in it. Can you see that? And there's also one right here where that big hump of bees are. Right here. And there's something in there too. See it? It looks like they're trying to build another one right there too. So, okay. There is a little bit of capped brood in here. Um, lots of really dark, dark um, comb. Lots of bee bread, pollen, 
these are all things you need to like have your list and you check them off yep see there's a there's a little bit there is another queen cell see I still haven't seen the queen and we've seen we have about we have about what three queen cells we found see now everybody's nice and calm just work slowly and monotonously and uh now for what i understand there are some bees out there that are a little ferocious but these are the southern italian and they're known to be very calm which is really good for a first time beekeeper see there is some there is some brood but it's very spotty i have no idea where my queen is one thing is really good though, I have not seen any, um, I have not seen any small hive beetles. And usually I do see a few, not many, but I do see a few. And you saw them in the trap, so we know they've been in here. Now I kind of blow on them a little bit, because Sometimes if you see a big old clump of bees around, then they will be um, over the, taking care of the queen. Now I do see some, lots of larvae there. I haven't learned how to uh, really see the eggs yet. Let's see, they said to turn it, let the sunlight be behind me, over my shoulder. Y'all are learning with me. And I can see lots, I can, you can see the, the brood right here. See the covered cells? You see how they're, they're dry looking and solid, not like the, um, there's a drone right there. Right there, that dark one with the big eyes. That one's a drone. See, can y'all see me okay? It's hard to see through this veil and try to see into that camera. But there's the drone right there, right there in the middle. See him wandering around there? But I have not seen a queen. And let's get this back in here because we don't want her to decide to fly off. Now, if you see here, the bees' heads inside of cells, inside the little honeycomb cells, that's, they're, they're in there feeding. They're feeding the, the larva. And they even feed the, uh, once it's capped over, if I'm saying this right, it's the pupae. I'm practicing on y'all guys. Yep. See, then we've got another cell down there. Got one over here on my bee veil. I mean, they may be starting to get a little upset. Probably from me blowing air on them. All right. I still haven't been able to see the eggs. And I also read, they, they suggest bringing out a magnifying glass. There's a little capped honey over there. All right, guys, so we're still, I believe they are trying to raise a new queen. There are two cells there. I mean, this box has got a lot of bees in it. But the end frames are still don't have anything on them and well they have a little honey a uh, little comb on them but not any brood there's no nothing big and wonderful going on now look guys see that there is a capped over queen cell right there they are definitely trying to raise a new queen right there Lots of pollen, some bee bread. 
We've got lots of sunflowers. It's nice, pretty yellow pollen. Okay. I did not see a queen. She's got to be somewhere, and I'm just missing her. I mean, I just, I don't get it. Just don't get it. All right, let's, this is another one of our hive tools. I mean, our, um, it's another one of our hive beetle traps. And you see that one doesn't have near as much in it. I just want to look on this last frame real quick. Let's give them just a little bit of smoke. They're a little annoyed, so we're going to smoke them just a little bit. Look in this last one, and then we're going to put it back together. All right. See, there is not much over here at all. There is some capped honey. And this side, very little comb. So... These guys, they are hanging in there and they are trying really hard to revive their hive. So we're gonna help them out today. Oh Lordy, smoker decided to kick back up. All right, let's push all the frames back together. Make it nice and snug, no cracks. Cause if there's cracks, oh my gosh. If there are cracks, they'll put propolis in it. Propolis, not propolis, propolis. And we want to keep it nice and snug together. All right, there's a bunch of bees right there. We're gonna smoke them a little bit, get them to go down. They are definitely sounding a little annoyed. So we're gonna get them all closed up and let them get back to business. Put our last frame back in here. Like that. All right, nice and snug. Oh, 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 we can't forget these. Put our little hive beetle traps back in. Hive beetles, usually when I've found them, they've over on the first couple of frames. Uh, not really first few frames there, so I like to put them on the sides and it's working really, really well. All right, we're gonna put our other deep back on. Oh, it's stuck to the ventilating thing. Isn't that just my luck? The propolis made it stick. Lordy, mercy, Marion. Oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna slide that on there. There we go. And then we'll just stick this right back on top. Come on little bees, y'all move. There you go. Scoot you out of the way so they can have some added airflow. And then we are gonna put this back on this little top thing, this little exit right here, this you can put on the back where they can actually have a back exit. And on this pollen that I purchased, they said to sprinkle three quarters of a cup. Now how's that gonna work? Oh, they're gonna come up here. <laughs> well, how am I gonna flip that over? Oh Lord. And I would have liked that to be un on the bottom. But it didn't turn out that way, so we're going to leave it like that for now. And I will come back out and check on these again in probably another week. Now, typically with beekeeping, they tell you, you know, to at the most do it every couple of weeks. But because I, we are... You know, they're, apparently we're having some problems as far as the queen goes, and uh, we're trying to feed the bees. So I am going to come back out and uh, check on them again. 
to make sure I don't need to add some more pollen because I want them to be well fed, you know. I want them to be well fed and that way they can uh, build lots of comb. They can put their work here and not so much out in the fields trying to collect pollen and uh, to build their hive. So we're going to feed them for right now to help make them nice and strong. And there's lots of vitamins and minerals and things inside that, with that pollen. And they do look better than they did last time I was in, which was about a week and a half ago. Um, well, no, about eight days ago. Wasn't that long ago. Now the bricks are up here because the storms, when they, come in, when they blow in, man, they blow in. 90 miles an hour wind. I'm exaggerating just a little bit. But they do blow in really hard, and that's just to keep the, the roof on. Now back here, you can feel a crack underneath this lid, y'all. And so I pushed it, made sure the crack was big back here. So they can go in and out of that little exit, that little extra exit. Now up here, I am going to, since we've replaced, come on smoker, come on baby, kick it up. Now when I added the, um, this little reducer on here, I had it where the big side was where the bees could come in and out but the um, feeder, the front feeder, that's where I had to put it so it would fit snugly in there. Now I am giving them some extra space so they can have lots of room. So they've got that little hole there. They can actually slip through there. They've got a lot of way they can come in and out. And, uh, but I just don't like the whole thing being open. Just to kind of help keep the unwanted, unwanted quitter, critters out of there. So this, this way I prefer, so far this has worked for me. Uh, it just kind of helps keep any uh, crazy critters out of there. All right guys, I'm keeping it real here. <laughs> Man, it's hot out there. My shade cloud did not come back. So if you enjoyed this video or found value in this video, please give us a big old thumbs up. It's a big help to us and, it, and we really appreciate it. So if you have any questions or comments, guys, any helpful suggestions, I am all welcome to them. Be sure and leave them in the comment section below. If you found value in this video, please give us a big old thumbs up and share us with your friends and family. So until next time, take care and God bless.